This is Congressman Bill Cassidy. On October the 29th, Speaker Nancy Pelosi introduced a 2,000-page, $1 trillion health care bill. It's her plan that Congress will pass this bill on about November the 6th or 7th. That gives the American people one week to decide whether this bill is good or bad for our country. To help in this process, we've posted the link to it on our website, cassidy.house.gov, and every day we'll try and put out a one or two minute video exposing some element and at times contrasting it with Republican alternatives that I feel are more effective but also less expensive. Today we'll look at the tax hikes in Pelosi Care. Well, uh, here's a part of the bill. On page 551, there's a $460 billion tax on small business. On page 512, another $135 billion tax on businesses. On page 531, there's a $5 billion tax on health savings accounts and flexible spending accounts. Um, and then there is a $20 billion tax later in the bill on medical devices such as hearing aids and wheelchairs. All told, the Pelosi Care bill has about $730 billion in new taxes. Now, small businesses create jobs in the United States. If you're a small businesswoman or a small businessman, and you feel like these taxes will hurt your business and your ability to create jobs, contact friends and family across the nation, ask them to contact their congressperson to ask their congressperson to vote against Pelosi Care. We need a better bill, a bill that achieves the goals of reform without raising taxes and killing jobs. Thank you for caring about America.